So this is a retroactive build log for a mill I've built many years ago. I didn't take any videos for this and I found quite a few pictures, but not as many as I'd like. I started this build when a friend of mine gave me a surface plate, a two foot by three foot surface plate. And uh, I thought it would make a very nice base for a CNC machine. I got some ground on all sides stainless steel hollow rectangular tubes from another friend and I uh, decided to use those as the gantry of sorts. I had access to a Bridgeport mill and that made it relatively easy to uh, drill all the holes and tap all the holes that I needed to uh, make in order to mount the linear actuators. In this case, the linear actuators are Thompson Super Slide. I uh, did remove the ball screws from them uh, and took all the balls out and cleaned everything and put it back together with new grease and uh, they are working really well. Uh, however, the stiffness of these uh, Thompson Super Slides is not very high. They, they can easily be bent with not too much weight, so they do need to be bolted to something. So in this case, that's of course the uh, upright stainless steel sections or the granite table. In order to connect everything I decided to use one, two, three blocks. Since everything was essentially already ground square I felt that that would be uh, a really good way to align all the sections and connect them. To connect the granite plate to the gantry I used cast iron angle plates. So after putting together uh, the gantry that uh, I wanted to put on top, I placed it on the granite plate and then used some layout fluids to mark where in the granite table I should drill the holes. Now just using a marker wasn't accurate enough, so I then went back and I took some uh, punch, uh, transfer punches and marked exactly where I wanted to drill. Then with the help of some people, I was able to lift the uh, granite surface plate on top of the Bridgeport mill as well. And at first I tried to drill through the plate with a cheap diamond bit, but that didn't work very well. Uh, this bit was almost solid. It only had a small wedge missing uh, for dust evacuation. There was no hole through the center. I thought I could get this working by blowing some compressed air at the drill and then weighing down the feed arm to kind of use it as an auto feed. But the progress was very slow because the dust, you know, never got evacuated from the whole property after I had drilled to a certain depth. Uh, and of course, on top of all this, it was a bad idea anyway because abrasive dust was blowing all over the Bridgeport mill and um, this was just a bad idea. I did try to use a fog buster at one point in time to just uh, blow air, not lubricant, into the hole uh, to get more of the dust out and this concentrated airstream made the whole thing work better, but I was still not satisfied with the result. I broke down and purchased an actual core drill from Hilti um, and got a quill adapter so that I can put this into the uh, Bridgeport quill and uh, that one worked really well. Uh, in order to do this, I decided that the cut area needed to be irrigated uh, for the, the original diamond drill fell apart and I don't know exactly why, it was just a cheap one, but it could have been that it overheated or uh, maybe it, the stresses weren't good and you know, it was of course recutting the same dust all the time and uh, so I thought that for uh, the purposes of keeping the dust out of the air and better evacuation of the holes, I would irrigate the cut area. And in order to do this, I uh, sealed the edges of the uh, surface plate and then used an aquarium pump and, uh, and just a gravity, uh, a gravity tube back down to consistently pump water out of a bucket back onto the surface plate. That worked extremely well. In short order, I had all the holes drilled that were necessary. And then at, I, I never drilled all the way through so that the water couldn't go and uh, come out at the bottom. I left just a sliver of it uh, at the bottom, which uh, then came out really easy uh, at the very end by simply tapping the cores 
you know, the, uh, they fell out at the bottom. Then I just had to clean up the surface plate and I was ready to uh, mount everything together. The linear actuators together with the gantry um, and this thing was ready to have electronics uh, put together. I decided on stepper motors um, for pricing more than anything and because I didn't know any better at the time. Um, I, I will at some point in time modify this whole thing uh, with, with servos. These stepper motors have, have some limitations. In any case, uh, this is a very rigid structure and I think it'll be a really nice platform to try different things. You know, do we need a direct drive? Are belts okay? What exactly are the limitations for steppers? And, you know, maybe servos are better. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter as much. Is this thing really as stiff as I think? Uh, you know, many, many things to try out. Uh, and so this will be fun.